do the pedder's way. Now I'm looking for the start of it already so it could be interesting. Absolutely baking. Bright sunshine. It was forecast to be rain and wind all day. I think there's a bit of low pressure so the, um, the wind's going to build up sort of in the next couple of hours or so. So it could be interesting. I think through the worst of the rain but uh, we'll see how it goes. Keep you posted. Right, I'm on the track, just following the acorn, 46 miles to go. Uh, just brief background on this, this is uh, an old walkway that was built by the Romans. It was believed that it was here before them, but um, they built on it. So it's 46 miles, I'm starting in Nettishall Heath, which is in Suffolk. And it finishes off in the home next to sea, which is right up the top of the Norfolk coast. The total's like 46 miles. I think that joins on to the Norfolk Coastal Path, which is a, a further, I want to say 60 miles. It's pretty much a, a hundred mile route if you did a whole lot, but I'm, I'm finishing at home and getting a, a taxi maybe to Kings Lynn and then a train back from Kings Lynn to Cambridge. So I've just been in from Fetford, I just got a from, taxi from Fetford station. So this is the first mile about to begin. about two miles in I am sweating buckets it's so humid been really having really hot weather and uh, we had loads of rain last night and it's really hot and sticky today now I've done a couple of miles so far East Bretham I think is the next stop that's in five miles time so I'm gonna get to there and have a little break something to drink and uh, see where we are from there. I'm going to do 10 miles my first night so I got here a bit earlier than, than I expected so it's only two o'clock now I've done a couple of miles so and um, we'll see how we go. I'm enjoying it so far I'm just so sweaty. <laughs> Wind's starting to pick up now so i pulling my pants every time I go next to a tree and uh, also these bridges little footways I'm on they uh, don't like my walking paths so <laughs> keep getting them stuck in the grooves no more recording for a bit. It's windy as hell, man. And uh, I'm gonna get out of the woods before I get struck by a tree. Stonebridge, which is uh, seven seven miles in. There's a, a pub up here, Golden Partridge. 
So I'm gonna stop and get a quick drink, fill up my water bottle, because I'm Ferris B. It's 3.37, gutted. I'm pretty much at 10 miles, and I've just come across this. I can't really make out all the writing, so I'm gonna Google it later. That's what it actually says on it. Some of the footprints of our something or other. But it's all pretty cool, and I can pick up the camera. It's all been engraved into the stone, loads of writing. by some people. Been searching for water for ages and uh, asked some people and they said the nearest place is like a garage six miles away. I'm on mile 15 and I was only planning on doing 10 tonight. So I literally filled my water bottle up, drank two water bottles full of water and topped it up again and they were sound so thank you to whoever you were. So I'm right next to a main road at the moment but I'm thinking that somewhere like this is going to be decent, out like over there. So I don't want to be going under any big trees tonight because thunderstorms and weather warning. I've done 17 miles now and I'm shattered and it looks like it could rain any second so I've just come off the path, just literally just there and I'm going to pitch up the tent just in the corner of this field. I don't think anyone's going to find me here. It's probably here. I've just got here in time. It's set up camp. I've done it so badly because I was in a rush. Nothing has caught. Look at all this. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here and wait for the, the rain to ease off a bit and then sort it all out. It's a bit embarrassing. bad night. That is a windy man. Uh, <laughs> what's the time? Five past five. Um, didn't sleep very well at all. I couldn't bother to reset the tent in the end so embarrassingly this is how I pitched up. Look at that. It was peeing down and I couldn't be bothered to get back out later. So, yeah, that's how it, that's how it ended up. I just didn't go through the setup last night. This is, uh, this is basically it. Cloud base out kit, out kit uh, pipe dream. Uh, just a, a trekology pillow. And I saw my crap around there. Okay, so here's the route. I've been taking. It started down here at Nettishall and yesterday I managed to break the back of it really in the first afternoon. So I'm here for this red circle is now. It's just past Watton and Cressingham. So by today I wanted to be at Castle Acre which is there. So I'm literally probably only about 10-15 miles so I'm going to go past there today, I'm going to try and do 20, maybe get to a little great massingham up here, maybe even a bit further, I'll just see how my legs feel, and then uh, leave just like 10, 5 to 10 miles for Sunday. Leave no trace, only dry grass, all packed, ready for uh, day two.
don't usually do them, but I might this morning. These are a game changer. I used to rip the old people I saw hiking with these things. But man, if I didn't have these, I think I'd be struggling. I'd have struggled to do 10 miles yesterday probably. Yeah, so don't knock them till you try them. Hiking poles. Finally, in home next to the sea. I am absolutely done in doing that in one day. There's a pub about 10 minutes walk down here, so I'm gonna find that white horse in home. And I'm gonna have a couple of pints and get a taxi to the King's Funeral Hunt and train station. Well, thanks for joining me on this one. It's been emotional. And uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.